Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Lost Valley. Well, no, welcome to Lost Valley. I guess not welcome back. You haven't been here yet. Um, I'm glad you're here, I guess. We, I'm glad we're here, too. <laughs> we are, but like I said, back in Lost Valley. This is a little town just over the mountain from where we grew up. Uh, we're going to slide back to Virginia a little bit. So, um, a lot's changed. <laughs> Boy, we, we kind of messed up there. We messed up a lot. Jockey Inc. is in trouble. Uh, Jockey Inc. almost is no more. There's almost nothing left. Uh, there's a nice little... I keep looking at that lot down there. I'm trying to figure out where we're gonna... Where we're gonna make our comeback. So... I don't know. I think we'll probably start with a grass field. But... So here's the situation. We... Uh, we didn't do a very good job of paying our taxes, and Uncle Sam caught us finally. <laughs> we have done a lot of globe hopping in the past couple years, and made a whole lot of money that we probably didn't account for properly. So, yeah, they caught us. We don't have anything left. We got rid of everything. Uh, we've had to make some deals with the government. We are currently $500,000 in the hole. That's how much we owe. Uh, but that is, that is our mortgage, essentially. We do have a home here in Lost Valley. Uh, we have a truck. Mrs. Jockey has a vehicle. We have one trailer with a small little Kubota tractor on it that I'll show you. And a little front loader to go with our little tiny Kubota. So that's all we got left. Like I said, we got a home, we have some vehicles, and we have a little tractor we can start working with. That's where we're at. So we have $8,000 in the bank. And like I say, we owe five hundred grand. So nobody's going to give us any more money right now. We're in trouble. So, uh, just so happens that after all that took place, we were still in Georgetown, looking for somewhere to go, and just happened to run into our old buddy Chris at, uh, the Sim Asylum. Now, Chris is our buddy from Homestead. We had a lot of good times at Homestead, made a whole lot of money there, too, as a matter of fact. Uh, might have been part of our problem there. Made a lot of hemp money there. I don't think we properly accounted for that. Um, anyways... Our good buddy Chris, he opened a store down here. He was the storekeeper there at uh, Kimball and & Sons and the farm dealer. And they opened a branch here in Lost Valley. And uh, he just happened to contact me and say, Man, there is just, this place is full of yuppies. It's blowing up. And these yuppies have bought farms. They got all the equipment and all the money. And they don't know how to use it. So that sounded like the perfect place for us, right? That's not bad at all. Like I say, it's just right over the mountain. We're probably 20 miles from where I grew up. We're going back home. We're going to we're gonna build an empire. We're going to rebuild this thing. We're going to do it right this time. Uh, part of the problem with Jockey Inc. last time was our supply chain. We didn't have one. We just kind of willy-nilly did everywhere we went. So here's what I'm thinking. We are going to rebuild the empire. We're going to start here. And we're going to do it with a pig farm. Um, the pig farm is up at the very northern end of the map here. It's going to cost us about $135,000 to get. Uh, and then, obviously, the pigs and everything you need to run a pig farm after that. But, <laughs> as of right now, that's just a pipe dream. That's a pipe dream. There's nothing... Let's go this way real quick. Nothing even close to getting that amount of money for us right now. So, this is one of the little things here. So what I'm thinking is, what we're going to do, we're going to make a little little farmer's market kind of thing. We're going to start our empire with, uh, with some, you know, farmer's market kind of stuff. Uh, I've already got a deal to sell some firewood. That's what we're getting ready to go do, actually. We're going to go cut some firewood and sell it uh, for a ridiculous amount of money. Uh, we're going to we're gonna raise some chickens. We're going to sell the eggs. That's always nice and affordable. A nice good way for us to start out and something we don't need a lot of equipment for we can pull it off with the tiny little tractor and our truck that we have so that'll be good we'll do that uh let's see what else we're gonna do oh potatoes so we do still have some things uh part of the agreement was the potato sorter and the potato washer from agaly farms it was on its way back from ireland anyways we had saved that as part of our deal when we left there it was on a ship on its way back. It is still on its way here, and that is still ours. So, one of the things I want to do is, while I'm looking at these 
little lots here. This lot right here that we're in, by the way, is 33000 So, a lot of money there. Kind of a big lot. This lot is 23, I believe. <clears throat> Anyways, our potato sorter, our potato washer are on their way here. We still own those. Uh, they're paid for. Let's set them up and use them, right? One of the good things about that potato sorter that we have is that the byproduct is pig food. Well, perfect. That's definitely the map we're going to set it up on. If we're going to build a pig farm with a pig empire, part of our empire, uh, the pig portion of it, we're going to need pig food, right? So we might as well grow, wash, and sort potatoes, right? So that's what we're going to do. We're going to do that. But we can't very well set it up at our house. I'll show you our house here in a minute. We kind of live in a little subdivision. And I don't think the neighbors are going to be real happy with that big old hunk of equipment sitting out there, the potato washer. That is a big deal. But what they will approve of, we've already run it by everybody, is a little greenhouse. So we're going to put a potato greenhouse in. And that's how we're going to start this thing. Put a potato greenhouse in. Start growing our potatoes. Um, if we don't have a place for the washer and sorter just yet, we may just have to sell potatoes at first. Uh, start off old-fashioned like... This is actually $9,000. I'm not just in a random parking lot. This is a little lot here. This might be perfect. Really all we need is just a little storefront uh, somewhere for Mrs. Jockey and the kids to sell some things for us until we get up and going. And, you know, somewhere for the hipsters to go and the, the yuppies to go and spend all their money. So that might be nice. That's a nice little lot there, right? $9,000. We could almost buy that thing. Um, maybe we could buy it and set the potato washer and sorter up in the corner back there. Excuse me, I'm losing my voice for some reason. Um, yeah, that's an option though. I like that. $9,000. Not bad. Not bad at all. Alright, let's, uh, let's take a little trip down the road. Oh, pull out in front of that one. Sorry. Oh, sorry. Oh, that's real bad. Yep. Welcome to the neighborhood. <laughs> they better get used to that, right? There's going to be some more of that. All right, let me grab a sip to drink while we are heading to our house. All right. Ooh. Had to go to the post office to get our mail switched over. Had to get a little sip of Dr. Pepper there. Check this out. We'll go right through here. This is a new little brewery that has opened up. And I really want to buy it. So, there are... Not doing so hot right now. Uh, I don't think they were able to get off the ground and running. I think the place is pretty much just sitting here stagnant right now. So this may be something for us down the road too. I really want to get into this thing. So keep that in mind. We're gonna we're gonna own this brewery here. Watch out for that car. Oh yeah. We were going anyways, dude. We were gonna go. All right. Well. Let's head to the house. We got a nice little spot here. And we got enough room in the backyard, I believe, to put our greenhouse in. Now, like I say, we've already made a deal uh, with the local grocery stores here. They need some bundles of firewood to sell to the yuppies who have fireplaces. And we took the wrong turn. That's not where we live. Let's go <laughs> this way. All right, that's a driveway. I promise I've been to my house before. All right, <laughs> this is it. Here we go. Home sweet home. We're here on the left. That is Mrs. Jackie's ride. She needed she needed a little buttering up there after everything we went through. And she called me called me some things. So there's Mrs. Jackie's ride. This is our home for now. Uh, this is where we're gonna sell our firewood right there. That little wood pile. I've already taken the liberty of cutting the first one down. We're going to cut that one, that one, and this little guy here. Uh, these are our firewood pallets. I'll go ahead and pull those over here when we start cutting, filling them up. And yeah, I think we'll make pretty good money for those things. So yeah, that's what we got. This is our little Kubota. Check that little dude out, right? <laughs> little 3901 has 45 horsepower, 42 horsepower. Not, not very many horsepower. Not very many at all. We have a little plow with it. Our little bucket and loader. Uh, we're going to do some things. We're going to make some money with this thing. 
probably buy us some pallet forks and do some transporting contracts. Uh, we'll just throw the pallets onto the trailer with the tractor. Maybe do some plowing contracts. <laughs> with a plow like this, we're not going to do a lot of them. And it's going to take a while. Oh boy. Uh, it's going to take a minute. So, yeah, that's where we're at. That's what we got. We are building an empire and we are building it with not a whole lot. But it's going to be fun. And I tell you what, I've seen us do it. I think we got a good shot at this thing. Let's cut some firewood. I tell you what, let's make some money. Uh, the greenhouse that we want, if you're going to build one, build a good one, right? That's our strategy. Our greenhouse is going to be about 25 grand. So Ooh, that's not what I thought was going to happen. That's very weird. <laughs> it doesn't like that at all. All right. Well, it's a little, little finicky. Hopefully we can still chop up the firewood part, but who knows, right? All right. I'll tell you what, I'm going to go ahead and drop this one. I'll get the chainsaw, chain, blah, 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 chainsaw work done, and I'll be right back. All right. I think we got everything cut up. Went ahead and hooked the pickup back up to the trailer. Got the Kubota unstrapped. We might have to get that off to move these wood pellets around once we fill them up. I think we can fill them up. We got plenty of stuff here. All right, let's see if we can do this. Not real sure. Oh. Just like that. Whack these things a couple times. Hey, look. <laughs> it does work. All right, I've never actually done it. I uh, downloaded the mod. And that's pretty cool. Uh, get up with some old axe here and watch out the hemp machines. There we go. All right. That did not give us as much as I thought it would. Maybe we will not fill these up. Let's see. What happens over here? <laughs> kind of thought we'd get more wood out of these things, but uh, I think they sell for a pretty, pretty steep price. So that's probably, probably the trade off there. That is pretty neat though. I like that. All right. So we need more trees. Or if we can take our axe over here near the lake over at night. <laughs> we'll just start pulling our own little beaver impersonation with our uh, trusty axe here. I guess depending on how much wood is in it is how many times he actually hits it before it disappears. Like, that's a lot. Yeah, okay. We are hitting the wrong one, and it actually took a lot of swings there. But I think once we get to the bigger chunks, it'll take more swings. These are only taking one each. All right, let's see. We can watch the firewood stack. No, I'm not going to be able to see it. Oh, we did. Okay. Yeah, it's going up quite a bit there. Quite a bit. I wonder how far away we can get before we have to move the pallet. Oh, wow. We're going to fill this thing up, aren't we? Go ahead and get the big pieces. Oh, log too big. Please cut smaller. Oh, man. This guy. They want to put a little effort into it. That's where you get to split them all out, right? You just got to hit it a little harder. I know that one's not too big. All right. Well, this thing. We'll go over here and hit these. We can cut those up later. This one's going to be filled quickly. We'll have to go get the other one over there and bring it closer. <laughs> that is just too neat. I like that. One of my new favorite things. Cutting firewood. Uh, let's see. I wonder if it'll tell you when it fills up. There's some other game this reminds me of. It's very, it's very similar. Some survival game. Rust or something like that. Uh, Conan, maybe. I don't remember which one it is, but... Hey, these pieces aren't too... Okay, that is too big. Is it still... No, no firewood pallets nearby, so that one must be full. See, this one is pretty much empty. Maybe we can drag it. We're pretty strong, guys. Yeah, we can just move this one over here. 
No sense getting the tractor out just yet. All right, let's drop that there. Betcha. This one, yeah, I was going to say. Take the whole branches with it. All right, so there we go. Let's see how much our wood pallets are worth here in just a second. That's pretty neat. So, uh, source of income here at first. And like I say, we will move our our wood sell point to wherever our, our yuppie store is. So, uh, we're gonna make a yuppie superstore and we'll sell firewood there along with our eggs and potatoes and, you know, other other goods. We'll sell all that stuff there. So, that's pretty cool. Let's, right, let's do a little cut in here. Suppose if we cut them in half, that'd be fine, right? You could split that. I think that'd be just fine. I don't know why anybody would want this for firewood, but to each their own, right? To each their own. I guess this is birch. Probably be decent in the fireplace. Husky is cutting today, buddy. He is nice and sharp. I got her tuned up. Life is good. All right, let's. See. I guess half will be good, right? Gotta be. A few more cuts. We'll get this chopped up, and then we will have to. Huh, I don't know. Yeah, we don't have any pallet forks, do we? Not sure how we're gonna do that then. Maybe we can push it with the bucket. Uh, all we have to do is slide it around to the side of the house, so. Um, maybe. If not, we'll just uh, we'll go see Mr. Chris at the store and we will buy us a set of pallet forks. Like I say, if we're gonna do transporting contracts, we're gonna need some anyways, so. Maybe that's the thing to do. We'll just do that, right? Let's get that loud thing out of there. Oh, come on. Smaller than that? No, I think I was on the stump. Can we get the little piece down there? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is my new favorite activity. I like this. There's something satisfying about this. Is it filling up down, down there or are we just wasting wood? There's no way. It's still too big. I guess it's going up down there. It'll stop us, right? We gotta, we gotta have faith in that. All right. So I think these pallets sell for thousands of dollars. I think you know a few thousand dollars out of these two pallets would be phenomenal, wouldn't it? Couldn't argue that. That'd be a viable income source if you had the trees. Now the problem is. We have now exhausted all of our trees, so we got what we got. Nothing we can do about that. Oh man, this is gonna be close. I don't think we're gonna have enough. Oh, I forgot to cut one. Good job. Tell you what, if we don't get all these, I am not gonna get a third pallet. I'm not going to go to the store and get a third pallet. We will just save these. We'll pull them off to the side and save them for our next woodcutting trip. We're going to be just about full anyways, so. Oh, man, we're going to cut one of these. We're going to finish both of these pallets off. We'll call it good there. See how much we can sell them for. And maybe we'll do a contract. We need some money. We need $25,000 to get our... Is that all of it? I think that's all of it. Too big, too big, too big. All right, we... we get... That's all of it anyways, right? Nothing there. All right, let's jump up here. Yeah. So, see what we can do with the old Kubota here. I'm going to say... 42 horse. She's a world beater. You know, there's only so much we can do with this thing, but 
That's the beauty of it, right? That is the beauty of it. Let's see. I think this is going to work good. I think it's going to slide perfect if I get on the right side of it. Let's keep it nice and low. Oh. Making the old 42 horses work for it, aren't we? All right, it should be any second. Oh, set. Whoa, seven thousand three hundred ninety dollars. <laughs> Selling firewood is awesome. I uh, love it. All right, watch out, yuppies. Here we come. Another seven thousand dollars. We're gonna be way closer than I thought to uh, getting us a greenhouse. That's incredible. Maybe it'll be worth getting another pallet to cut the rest of our, because the pallet disappears with it. Um, Go buy another pallet. They're really cheap. Cut up what other wood we have there. Might be worth it. Seven thousand dollars, man. I was not prepared for that. Uh oh, we missed it. How come that one didn't sell? Is there like a limit you can sell? That would be bad. Oh, that's bad. Hmm. See that little pile of firewood right there? That's the sell point. I put that in right there. Uh, we didn't own anything else at the time. How come we can't? That's maybe it's just a once a day thing, huh? That's kind of weird. Sold the other one as soon as we pushed it up there, didn't it? All right. Well, that's all right. We'll just wait till tomorrow and get our seven thousand hmm. dollars. Weird. Weird, weird, weird. All right, so I thought about buying a cultivator for the back of this thing. As a matter of fact, we don't need to take all this with us. We're going to take a little ride here. We'll pull up to the back porch here. Whoa. <laughs> it didn't work out like I thought it was going to, did it? <laughs> Drop the plow right there. All right. I thought about getting a cultivator anyways. I'm sad, man. I didn't get my other $7,000. Because there is a field right over here. This is Mr. Chris's place. Um, this field right here is for sale as well. And it is extremely reasonable. So that whole grass run all the way down there to that line of trees. It's like seven acres. We can, we can almost afford that, though. I'll have to look. I think it's $27,000. Like, it is really, really reasonable. A lot of the fields around here are. Um, but this is the field. This field right across the road here. Make sure we don't die when we're going across there. Field number 25. I thought about doing as many contracts as we could on it and then buying it. I think it is only... Twenty-five, thirty thousand dollars It's very, very reasonable. It would already have most everything done to it, you know, if we did some contracts. So, uh, right now it needs lime, but the contract is for cultivating. There's a cultivating contract on it. So, thought about buying a cultivator. Just a little one to pull behind here. This, even at our little two or three meter cultivator, wouldn't be a terrible way to make a thousand dollars. Yeah, I've done worse, so... Uh, oh, go fast boots got me zooming around there. Got me a little dizzy. Yeah. That's what I'm thinking. I think we're going to do a little cultivating. Put a little Kubota to work here. Uh, we're going to make some money. We need some more money, so... We got 16 grand. We're going to have a lot, a lot of banking costs tonight. Um, loan fees and such. And... We also want to buy a greenhouse, so... The sooner we get our greenhouse going, the sooner we can make potatoes, the sooner we make potatoes, the sooner we have income. So, you know, all those things, right? All those things. All right, let's leave this here. We'll pull up here right now. We'll have to run in and set that up. see what Mr. Chris has and see if we can make a deal. But better run in here and get my wallet first, right? He's probably going to want to talk business, so... Yeah, there we go. How about that? All right. Well, for right now, that's where we're going to leave it.
We are empire building. That's what we're doing. This is the first stop on our empire build. We're going to do, well, we're going to call them chapters, let's say. This is chapter one. We're going to build a pig farm. Uh, chapter two, I think we're going to build a dairy farm. So, uh, looking forward to that one. Chapter two, the dairy farm is a very good possibility. will also be our, our main farm, our home shop as it is. So, uh, looking forward to that. We might do that one next if it works out like I think. And that will be our next stop after we get the pig farm up and running and operational. And we'll have to find somebody, somebody around here local to help us out. And we can leave it in their hands. So, yeah, looking forward to it. It's going to be fun. But like I say, this is just the first chapter. Going to be many chapters in the Empire. Uh, we, the Empire strikes back, right? We got we to gotta get back on our feet. We got to do this thing. We got to do it right this time. And, yeah, I'm looking forward to the, to the challenge. Looking forward to the hard work. I like it. So, with that being said, I want to thank you for coming and hanging out with me. I'm Golf Cart Jockey, and I want you to have a good day.